Hello and welcome to episode number 12 of the Photoshop and Lightroom tips. This is Ashraf Jandali and today our episode is gonna show you how to edit this image and make it into that image. Now the technique which I have done is that I've, I've um, taken an image of uh, this hotel and uh, like every one and a half hours this hotel does some kind of a light show. Now combining like I mean having this image that you have seen in one shot that's somehow impossible to happen. So therefore I've taken one shot <clears throat> which is I'll show you now these shots. Uh, I've taken one shot which is already the main image and that image itself uh, will be having the composition that I want. So I'll make sure that my camera will never move. It will always be the same. Okay, if I find the folder, okay. And the main one is this one. This this is gonna be the main image which you will see very soon after it opens. Yes, that's the one. And with that image, uh, I've taken the composition that I require and I waited all the time for the, uh, you know, light show to start. Now, after the light show started, I started to take several image one after the another because the lights are totally different. They are not consistent, like they are, you know, always happening in the same sequence or something. It's totally different. Now, therefore, as you will see right now, is like, let's say this is one of the images. This is the light which I got in that image. And that's the second one and so on. Each and every image will have totally different type of lighting uh, that, that, that you will see. Maybe some images even the light is not even uh, appearing. So what the technique that we will be using, we will stack all these images in Photoshop and definitely you will require first thing to do your uh, basic editing in Lightroom. That's the way I do it. If you want to do it uh, in in uh, Photoshop in the Adobe Camera Raw because I use uh, I use uh, raw images and I did convert them to JPEG for the sake of this tutorial tutorial to make it um, just for the sake of this tutorial to make it uh, easier and faster. Okay, so I will be opening uh, the Photoshop, which is this one, and then I will go to File Script and then. Uh, load files into stack. Then I'll go to browse and I will choose all my images. Uh, so I'll say Command A or Control A and I'll say open. And then finally, uh, if you are not sure about your images, if they are being, uh, you know, moved or maybe your tripod was not a steady tripod, you will definitely have to say attempt to automatically align source images. I'm sure 100% that I don't have such a kind of thing, so I'll say OK. That will be faster, doesn't have to do the alignment. Now, as you can see, Photoshop will start having each and every image uh, one by one stacked as layers. Now, if you don't know uh, about layers, please uh, feel free to ask me any question uh, while I'm doing any kind of tutorial and you don't understand how this happened, please give me that question and I will make sure that I will cover it in, uh, uh, you know, different or several tutorials after that. So we are almost done. <clears throat> now, we are, yes, done. Yes, we are done. No, not done. Okay, now, I have my main image, which is this one. And all the images that contains the light show are beneath it. Now all I have to do is instead of coming let's say to this image and I'll have to choose this slide by selection or doing a brushing or that kind of stuff this is gonna be extremely difficult and it will never work. Now the easiest way is to do that is to select all the images but not the main image. Select all the images by selecting the first one and going all the way down press shift and then press the last image you will be selecting all of them and then the blending mode you will change it to lighten now once it is done and I did forget to do something that I have to take the main image all the way down to see the effect 
So I will be taking the main image all the way down uh, to the last. Okay, and yes, that's what we are getting. The main image is 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 uh, now blending with the uh, with all the uh, with all the uh, uh, you know other images. Now th there are some images which is gonna spoil the whole scene. So therefore, what I will be doing is that. I will keep on, you know, clicking on the eyeball, so either I will have this layer visible or not, and I will see what is the effect of this layer on the image. Now, when I click on it, I can see there are some very slight, uh, you know, change in the image, which I'm not really requiring it, so I will remove it. And then I will see the other ones, the same thing with this one, nothing really special in that. Okay, this is the same thing. And I will keep on experimenting with each and every layer. If I don't require it, maybe it's affecting my image, I will remove it. And even in some cases, it will add more light and it will not really look, uh, you know, in a nice way. It may look artificial. So um, I will keep on doing that. Uh, just bear with me. Uh, I, I will keep on experimenting each and every, every layer uh, until we will be satisfied with the output. Now, this one does nothing. I will remove it and so on so you you will keep on doing that and by the way what the technique that i'm doing right now is exactly the same technique that uh, you can use if you have shot some star trails you will come you will stack all your images of the star trails and you will change the blending mode to uh, lighten in that way you will have all your stars being visible in the sky without even doing any any difficult uh, uh, kind of selections or that kind of stuff so it will be extremely straightforward but the only good thing about doing it in Photoshop rather than the other softwares is that you can individually come to each and every layer and see which one maybe sometimes when you're doing the star trails you may get a plane moving from the you know all the way to the horizon and it will really affect your image so once you are going to each and every image so you can choose if I if this this uh, you know layer or, or image is adding something uh, to the to the whole scene. If not, remove it. And if it's it's affecting your image, definitely you will require to remove it. Okay, let's say like this one. As you can see, it's 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 really covering a lot in the in the building of the hotel. So I'm not really interested in having it, and I don't want extremely too much light because definitely that will not really look nice let's say like this one i do prefer without uh, this this image so definitely i will remove it and then finally uh, okay i will keep this one that's fine okay now after i have done uh, choosing all the images that i require them to be in the scene i will again select all these images and then I will group them in one, uh, you know, folder. So uh, if if you will press Command or Control G, all the images that are we are layers that were selected, they will be in a group. And now the good thing about it is I will be able to have a mask. So I will come to this shape which has a you know square and a circle in between. Some people they call it the washing machine. I don't know why. So if I click on that. I will have my uh, or I will have the uh, mask being added to this folder which contains all these images okay now I'm not happy of what's really happening in this area so all I have to do is have the brush I will click on the brush and then I will be able to mask the you know this area so it will reveal the main image so what I will be doing is that I will click on uh, you know making the foreground as black uh, or I can press X as I told you in my previous tutorials and now I will be brushing with black in this area to remove the effect of the uh, other images because as you know the lighten uh, blending mode it does show only the bright areas in the image so each and every uh, bright uh, light or something it will appear so definitely that will be uh, you know affecting 
the whole image so I will just make sure that the 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 huge amount of light which was there is not really appearing in this area because I just want uh, the light which is happening in in this in this place now again as you can see uh, okay the lights are, are, are fantastic it's exactly what I require but if you compare it with the original image this area which is the sky was dark than what it is right now so the solution for that is is very very easy is that you can go to the uh, adjustment um, uh, the layer and you can add the adjustment to be as curves now once I have this uh, adjustment I will be going maybe by default you will not be having this chosen I will click on this hand with those two arrows once I click on it I will be having the ability to choose which area in the image I want to do the edit. I am very interested in this bright area in the sky. So all I have to do is come and click and drag down and that, that way you can see that I will have this area more darkened than before. And as you can see, this will make the uh, light more saturated and it will look much more clearer. Now again, we don't require this effect to happen uh, all the way on this area so I will clip this layer to uh, you know using the clipping marks so what will happen the effect of this layer will happen only on the beneath layer to do that it's either uh, you can um, you know simply click on the alt and you will have your mouse in the line which is between uh, those two layers once you click on it you will be having the effect of the uh, clipping mask so that's mean the effect is gonna happen only on the layer which contains all these images and it will not reach to the uh, layer which is uh, which I did call it as the main image as you can see it does not really take much of time reaching to this uh, you know effect you can play around with a lot of things as I told you this works with the star trays as well you can try that it's really easy and does not really take much time from you i hope this tutorial was uh, you know uh, informative for you and i did not really talk much so if you like it please subscribe if you still did not subscribe so you will get my uh, you know you will get emails from youtube mentioning that i have uploaded new videos and please do like it uh, by pressing on like in youtube uh, that will help me to keep on going guys and giving you all the tutorials that I will learn from either some other people or I will experiment by myself immediately I will be uh, giving you this information thank you and have a nice day